Hello everybody and welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I want to show you a little presentational technique in SketchUp. It is called using scenes. So we'll be just trying something different and I'll also show you how if you haven't used them before. I'm sure other videos might show you but I'll show you anyway. So it would be a good little change, you know, we'll see how if you like it better. Because obviously, you know, I mean, I've been playing with my videos, been doing, it's been a lot of shakiness when I move things around, and this time it'll just get concise, it'll be very concise, so. Yeah, and hopefully it'll be a lot cleaner, so I'll just, we'll get started. Alright, so I selected this model, this high-rise building model and we are going to pre present it using scenes so what how do you use scenes you'll just find things that you like about the project like about the building like for example I mean not much but for example the front door what we'll do is we'll put it here we will go up to the top and we'll go view click on that go down to animation add scene and then therefore that's your first scene as you can see up at the top I don't know if this hypercam shows it but up at the top it'll say scene one and you'll pick another view you'd like to see um, we'll see about that one and we'll go view animation add scene as you can see, it's scene two here. Mm, we will go up here, and we will do the same exact thing. Sorry, add scene. And you can make as many as you can, as you want, really. Well, I guess as many times as you want until your computer crashes. I don't know, but I mean, you can do a lot of time. Sometimes people can do dozens of scenes. And it'll be just the highlights of your project. You can see, I'm just going through the highlights of it. And then what you can do is you can turn layers off. No layers. And then make that a scene. Why do I keep forgetting that? Okay. And then, yeah, as I say, just the highlights. You can put the layers back on. These scenes don't last for very long either, so... And what you can do is um, display shadows, fog, and whatever you want to do. So we'll do a shadow. Let's see, window, shadows, here we are. Just a trial run. 
show what the place looks like with shadows. Why do I keep going there? Or there. There we go. Then last two scenes are seen. And then here we are. Then we'll get rid of shadows here. And really just as many as you need to present your project. Why? Okay, so view, animation, add scene. And then there we are. And then you can go ahead and click on the scenes. You can click on, see where I'm just, and then say we want to go to scene 9. Go to scene 12, scene 14, uh, and then therefore you see the shadow turning on. But we can do that, or if we don't want to, and we're like in a board meeting or something, we don't want to go and click all that, and we want to sit down with our group and talk, we'll go to view, animation, play. And then there you go. It will go. Scenes will go through automatically. As you can see at the top of the screen, the blue, whatever selects in blue, is what's playing currently. Then, as you can see, it's very, it's actually not jer jerky like how I'm doing it. Let's see. Now the thing about the scenes though, it goes through your building, you know, it kind of gets annoying, but... So you have to like, sometimes you have to make a whole lot of scenes, or you have to just place them carefully. But I mean, this was just a loose demo, just to show you how it works. So it's not going to be absolutely flawless. We'll play it again and just show you. See, now it goes back to one. And it goes on a constant loop, too. Electricals air conditioners and whatnot. Then and you can see it goes under. Usually you don't like that to be seen like but like I said this is just a loose demo just to show you. See the roof automatically came off. And the roof automatically comes back on. And you can time these scenes too. See the shadow came on automatically. And this can go on and on and on. And we're back to where we started. And then you just go here and stop at any time. Then you know you can just go around and then just spin it and do whatever you want with the model. And it still won't affect the scenes at all. Because the scenes are automatically saved. So always go back to wherever you are. See, so I'm going freely now. I just think it's fun just bouncing around the project. But kind of notice how it's just all fixed, you know. And it shows the highlights. So, that's fun, you know. I mean, I think that'll be a new way to start presenting my model. So, why don't you tell me how, that, how you like that compared to how I showed you otherwise. Because I noticed I've had some people comment about my other videos. About, like, how you kind of... Just kind of jerky and whatnot. So, and I will have to work a little more with scenes just to make it more clean, you know, so it doesn't go bouncing through the project and go places where I don't want it to go. Because those are still challenges that I meet. So, but I every day I'm getting a little stronger. I'm knowing a little more. What? Uh, all right, everybody. Hope you like that one. 
If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it as always. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Building link will be in the description. Alright, everyone. You have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.